Hello, my name is Jeff Cady. I'm a certified health physicist, and I want to do a quick video to show you the effects of altitude on cosmic radiation exposure. According to NCRP Report 160, the average U.S. citizen gets about 311 millirem per year from ubiquitous background radiation, stuff that we eat, stuff that's in the rock and soil, stuff that we breathe, and the subject of this video, cosmic radiation. Average for the United States population is about 33 millirem, but it varies pretty drastically depending on where you live. For example, if you live near sea level, the average is about 26 millirem per year. And if you were to live in, say, a place like Denver, the Mile High City, you'd get about 50 millirem per year from cosmic radiation. Going to show you the effects of that now. So here I have a Mirian Accurad personal radiation detector and I'm sitting in an airplane at the Denver International Airport. So 5,280 feet of elevation, and you can see the background radiation level is right around six microrem per hour. That's six thousandths of a millirem per hour. All right, here we've made it up to cruising altitude, right around 36,000 feet, and you can see that the radiation level has increased by an order of magnitude, running around 80, little over 80 microrem per hour compared to the six microrem per hour we saw previously. And here I've landed at the Chicago Midway Airport, waiting in the tarmac, and you can see the dose rate now is two microrem per hour, so about a third of what it was up in the Mile High City. If I take the two microrem per hour we saw on the ground in Chicago times the number of hours in a year, or 8,760, I'll do the calculation and you end up with 17,520 microrem. There's 1,000 microrem in one millirem. So 17,520 microrem corresponds to 17.5 millirem per year. The six microrem per hour in Denver we saw earlier is three times that we saw in the Chicago area. So if I take the 17.5, multiply it by three, I end up with 52.5 millirem per year, which agrees pretty closely with the 50 millirem per year I mentioned previously. So there you have it. There's a little demonstration of how altitude affects radiation exposure from cosmic radiation. You might be wondering how much radiation exposure airline pilots and flight attendants whatnot get. And that same report I referenced earlier, NCRP 160, estimates that Airline workers get about 310 millirem per year. Uh, that's compared to 311 millirem per year that I mentioned that we're all getting on average from background radiation exposure. And just to put that in perspective, uh, NRC licensees and DOE projects are allowed, the workers are allowed to get 5,000 millirem. Well, I hope you learned a little something and let me know what you thought in the comments below and look forward to seeing you for some other videos in the near future.